Hello, Nibimox here. Welcome to Jay Cook State Park uh, in northern Minnesota. We're about uh, well, about 20 miles or so south of Duluth here. Uh, as you can see, I'm camping for the weekend. Uh, and I thought I'd give you a little update on my channel. I know it's been a while since I've uh, uploaded anything. And you're probably assuming that's because of my leg issues. And while that's part of it, actually there's a lot more going on that, uh, that prevented me from getting anything else uploaded. Once my leg got more, or got a little bit better healed, um, I started getting involved with setting up our new gallery. I'm part of a co-op artist co-op in Rochester, Minnesota and we we had to find a new gallery and we found one and we took possession the beginning of September and then it was uh, basically all hands on deck while we uh, got it all set up and everything and along the way I volunteered to uh, put together some uh, artist interviews on video to uh, post to our Facebook page and to our uh, website and so um, that pretty much tied up uh, all my time not to mention uh, my editing resources uh, during the last half of September into October and also during that time of course uh, Getting my work up on the walls. I've been also working a lot at the gallery. I'm starting to work hours for other people. And so just everything involved with the gallery has just eaten up what little time I had. And uh, the leg was bothering me so I couldn't spend full time doing uh, what I needed to do. But while the leg was bothering me I couldn't do much of anything else either so I've hardly taken any photos uh, since my boundary waters my last boundary waters trip and uh, this is the first video I've taken other than the artist interviews this is the first uh, video I've taken since then so yeah it's been uh, pretty busy it looks like the last half of October things are going to settle down a little bit so hopefully, no promises, but hopefully I'll be able to start working on my uh, July trip, uh, posting the videos from the July trip. So anyway, that's where I'm at. As far as why I'm here this weekend, uh, I'm doing a show this weekend at the Black Bear Casino and Resort, which is in, here in, well, is in Carlton, which is just, just down the road. Uh, all the motels in the area were like a hundred bucks a night and I don't think I'm going to be making enough off of this show to be able to pay be able to afford hundred dollars a night for motel rooms so uh, the park is fairly close twenty three dollars a night it sounds a heck of a lot better than a hundred dollars a night and uh, gives me an opportunity opportunity to get out a little bit course most of the weekend it's going to be taken up with the show so it's not like I'm going to be able to take a big tour of the park for you or anything like that now that I have my tent set up I do have maybe an hour or so of daylight I forgot to check what when the sun set is here so I will go I'm planning on getting some photos at least and hopefully I can get some more video for you but uh I thought uh, I wanted to give you this update anyway because it's been so long um, since I put since I have uploaded anything and uh, as far as the leg goes um, it's not quite a hundred percent yet but it's getting there uh, two nights ago I managed to sleep through the night without having to uh, have any Tylenol any kind of pain relievers at all uh, last evening I loaded the car so I had other muscles that were 
kind of complaining so I did take Tylenol last night uh, I I know my I mean my leg whimpers at me it's not screaming at me anymore but it kind of whimpers at me so you know it's not like I said it's not a hundred percent yet but it's getting there and it's definitely been at the point where it's not keeping me awake at night so hopefully I'll be able to camp uh, without it without too much trouble Tomorrow morning I have to go over real early in the morning. Setup starts at 7 o'clock. I got to do the setup, do the show. Uh, the next day, do the show, do the teardown. So uh, um, it's going to be interesting to see what my leg feels like after I've done all that. But so far, knock on wood, it's uh, it seems to be getting in better and uh, not bothering me so much anymore so I know I still have to take it easy as much as I can and <laughs> not that setting up for a show is easy but uh, you know it's not like I can get out and walk a 20 mile hike right away or anything like that so I do need to uh, be a little bit cautious a little bit careful but at least uh, things seem to be improving and hopefully Hopefully in another week or two, I'll have forgotten all about my shin splits, so, uh, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, as you can see up here, we have gone a little bit past peak. It was a gorgeous drive up because I drove through a lot of peak colors, but it's a little bit past peak here, but a lot of color left. Back home, it's, uh, it's uh, not quite peak yet so I'm hoping that the middle of the next week when things settle down a little bit I'll be able to get out and get some uh, photos back home so anyway without further ado, ado I think I'm going to uh, lace on my hiking boots and go and see I'm out trying to get some shots. We have an intermittent, I mean, it's mostly cloudy, but once in a while there's a hole in the clouds and uh, kind of pops out and helps to make some color pop. So, what I'm doing right now, I got the camera set up here, and I'm basically zooming in about like so on the river the waterfall, those trees across the way that are so colorful. And I'm hoping against hope that there'll be a break in the clouds that will uh, shine on those trees make them pop a little bit and maybe even backlight some of the mist that's coming off of the waterfall over there. I don't know if you can see that here or not. But there's a some mist coming off of those off that uh, water over there. If I can get that backlit in the sun, side lit in the sun, a little bit of sun on those trees back there. Uh, I think it's gonna make an amazing shot. Where I'm set up is probably uh, <laughs> probably used by 99% of the visitors to the park, or at least the photographers, because there aren't really a lot of stable places. There's a, well, let me zoom back out here. There's basically a uh, pillar here. There's another one just down there, right there. That people probably use but this one gives such a great uh, great view of the, that waterfall over there 
gives you this, uh, let's see, where is it? This nice lead-in line, and then with the colors behind there, it's just, uh, just a really nice composition. So I just need the, uh, the sun to work with me a little bit. On this well, one. the, uh, well, the sun never cooperated with me, so I had to go uh, with a little bit tighter composition, uh, eliminating as much of the sky as possible, and uh, therefore evening out the exposure a little bit, getting the colors behind the waterfalls. Then I... Uh, now this is uh, the spot, I moved over a little bit, uh, there's where I was originally pointing, and then I took a couple with uh, this composition here. Okay, now I'm further upstream from where I was before, kind of the top of the waterfall. Um, trying, just trying to get some nice shots of the water in the front and the uh, the uh, color in the back. I kind of took this scene uh, here, I took it vertically, so I've got some of this in front, and all the way up to the sky in the back. Uh, dynamic range is too much for the camera, so I am going to have to do some HDR work on it. But uh, I think it's going to turn out okay. I was I was getting ready to move to a different spot and I just back, looked back at this uh, sand of trees here and the sun was lighting them up just about like there. It's going to in just a minute here. So I quick took a couple of shots of that. clearing, it's getting close to sunset, so I'm taking pictures, unfortunately I am on the bridge, and there are other people on the bridge, and because it's a hanging bridge, a suspension bridge, the bridge is bouncing all around, so even though, so anyway, I'm getting probably a lot of uh, motion blur on these shots, unfortunately. those colors, would you? Gorgeous sunset. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to get some of this uh, river in the front. Again, it's uh, turning out to be uh, higher dynamic range than the camera can handle, so I'm definitely going to have to do some HDR work on it. at the car now. It's a very successful hour, hour and a half, two hours, whatever, of photographing. And uh, didn't quite get the pictures I wanted, but I got uh, got some nice pictures. So, uh, so anyway, uh, like I said uh, earlier in this update, that uh, hopefully soon I will start posting uh, videos from my uh, July trip, July Bounty Waters trip, and maybe get back on track here. Things 
look to be settling down a little bit after oh about mid middle of next week so get this posted first so that you know what's going on and then uh, we'll go from there so thanks for watching and see you on trail Thank you.